The question of saving the private and near-bankrupt College of Santa Fe is now in the hands of a task force, a large task force of civic leaders, elected officials, and educators. They have to report to the governor by the end of April what they recommend for saving the college, or at least giving it the old college try. On the task force is the president of Santa Fe Community College, Sheila Ortigo. She's with us. This is a huge job. What do you see as a possibility for actually saving the College of Santa Fe? You know, I think the focus of the group that met for the first time yesterday, and and thanks to Governor Richardson for pulling all of the uh, representative uh, interest together to try to problem solve on this issue. Um, I think the concern is, is saving four-year degree options for Santa Fans and whether that's still called the College of Santa Fe or whether it becomes a higher education center or whether one of the universities in the state takes it over or whether uh, some uh, private art school from elsewhere is recruited to take it over. Uh, there are lots of options on the table. Um, but I think what's personally most important to me is that we get affordable quality education uh, to the four-year level, building on the two-year de- degree programs that we offer here in Santa Fe for folks. You had had a concern about that before, that someone may come in and offer a four-year degree program that would, that would duplicate many of your first two-year programs. Uh, that is absolutely not a good idea and certainly a possibility, but I think the governor is aware of it and is looking out to make sure that we uh, get the most cost-effective model, and there really is no need for any other one or 200-level classes offered by any other institution. Um, Santa Fe is a community college is very versatile, and we already have many, many articulation programs with other colleges and universities. The question now is, can it reopen in September as a college or university? What do you think? I think it's possible, but a lot of folks are going to have to come to agreement and work very quickly. And uh, 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 I believe our plan is to get a plan together by the end, no later than the end of April. And so, you know, the fi- financial issues are probably paramount in terms of really deciding where the money is going to come from to make it work. Well, they're huge. Where, where would it come from? Where would it come from? There are a lot of possibilities on that. You know, there, uh, the co- Santa Fe Community College has bonding capacity and also the capacity to host uh, higher education centers that do lead into the third and fourth year level and beyond. So that's one possibility. The county and city have also expressed a possibility about being able to uh, consider taxes uh, or or other means that might be able to support it. Uh, We're also willing to partner with the city and the county to make something work and with others as well, with the state. Uh, General Services Department may be interested as the campus is so large that actually not all of it would be needed for a higher education center or a small college or university. So there's possibilities of, um, you know, of selling that land, uh, of having multiple use, of using it for government offices. But we've got to come to agreement and work quickly. Well, let's go back to the thoughts on the county and the city. Does the county have resources to foster some sort of involvement of you and the College of Santa Fe? You know, I know the commissioners are looking into that at the moment. I think probably the the one that is most concrete is that the community college does have bonding capacity, and we're looking into it as well. There's sometimes even the possibility of running a bond without even increasing taxes. So that's something we're studying right now, and the city could do a tax to support this. So uh, I don't know what the county's possibilities are, but, you know, we've even had some creative um, conversations about about land use, you know, with the land office in terms of doing land trades or having discussions with the creditors. So a lot of great minds are being put to solving it, but I can't tell you what's going to come out of it right now. But it's interesting to hear you say that Santa Fe Community College might have the capability to solve much of this financial problem yourself and be in the driver's seat on this. It it is something we're considering, uh, and uh, we do have to work it out in such a way that we partner with either one other institution or many other institutions, which would be my preference. My vision would be to have 
the very best of all the programs that are offered at the colleges and universities in the state here in Santa Fe. So, for example, the UNM Anderson School of Business, you know, with its wonderful national reputation to be housed at a higher education center here and available to people, or NMSU's fine engineering program, or Highlands Education and Social Work programs, rather than just looking at one option to bring all of those options to the table, as many community colleges do when they host higher education centers, and make that work, and, and just perhaps build something even better than there was before. And also certainly maintaining that unique and distinct and wonderful arts program that the College of Santa Fe has had because, as you know, Santa Fe Community College has, has many wonderful art programs and resources which could flow easily into the College of Santa Fe if that name were somehow salvaged. Or uh, we also have an existing articulation agreement with University of New Mexico so that students can move from our programs right into a Bachelor of Fine Arts through UNM. And haven't you had an interest in getting more campus exposure closer to town? We do. We've got that in our master plan, and we know that a lot of folks really need to um, access the college. Uh, rather than coming all the way out here to the outskirts of town, it does need to be more accessible so that's another possibility is actually offering some of our, eventually offering some of our 1 and 200 level classes down there as well. I know there are lots of Santa Feans who can't wait to hear how this turns out, and, and they're all hoping it will turn out for the best. Sure. And I, I do want to say that the idea I was pitching is, is just my own, and there are a lot of other good ideas at the table. Uh, so I'll, I'll be promoting my idea, but also supporting any other good solutions that come out. We'll be watching it closely. President Sheila Ortego, many thanks. Thank you.